It's 1953. You sent away for this six weeks ago. You've run home from school every day to see if it has arrived yet. Well, it's here. Yes, at long last, you've received your very own power built pocket radio. You saw it in an ad in the back of Popular Mechanics or some comic book, and you just had to have it. Dad said, No, it's probably just junk. But Mom said, We'll see. And so that's where you went to work concentrating your efforts at persuasion. What's all this paperwork? Blah, blah, blah. I've been in school all day. The last thing I want is more paperwork. Hmm. The radio comes in a cardboard box and is itself made of cardboard. Well, at least it's burl wood grain cardboard. It sure is big for something that is supposed to be pocket size. You see those lines on the front extending from the place where the sound is supposed to come out? Those horizontal and vertical gold lines? Those are there to help the radio seem louder, I think. Don't you? And it's going to need them. This is a one tube radio, a sort of amplified crystal set, made without transistors at the dawn of the transistor era. Let's get it open. How do you do that? Unbelievably, it seems the front of this quality built radio is held on with small nails. Really, nails! I don't think I've ever seen another radio held together with nails. Sounds like something I would have designed when I was nine. You may be able to see the one tube inside the radio. It's half buried inside the tuning coil. I don't see a crystal. It's probably hidden in here somewhere, and I just don't see it. The radio says it takes two number two batteries. I think by that they might mean C cells. On the instruction sheet, it says this radio comes complete with phone in set. One complete unit, easy to carry. Well, easy to carry it is, but pocket size it is not. The earphone is indeed inside and can be used with the phone in set as advertised, though you'd have to be pretty close to it. I'm sure those gold lines will help. Those dangling wires you may have seen are for antenna and ground. And this radio is going to need to be connected to a stationary antenna and ground in order to work. So you're really not going to carry it around in your pocket anyway. See how that works out? There's also a kind of door on the side through which you can pull out the earphone and hold it up to your ear. What will they think of next? The Power Built Pocket Radio, one of the stranger examples of the 20th century's fascination with the technology and entertainment of radio. <laughs>